Hi, I'm Henry Moore III, and this is How to Mogul. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a jump cut video. And basically, this is used a lot for music videos when you have like the video kind of jumping to the beat. I use it a lot for music videos for this reason. I really don't see another reason why somebody might use this, but you can be creative and use it for all sorts of things. So I just have this little video clip. It's only like a few seconds. I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm not going to do a whole video, but I'm going to show you kind of the process that I do to kind of make the video jump. So number one, we got to have that, the music. And it's good to have some music that you can kind of hear the kick and the snare, like you kind of feel where that's at. Um, and for the video, you just wanted something that's kind of, it has to change. It can't be like a sit still picture. It can, but you might want to have something with some sort of movement in it. So you can actually see the different changes as you're doing the cuts. So let's um, hear the music right quick. So we got, oh, sorry. Let me go ahead and select it on the project. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do since we're in final cut, I can actually just hit the M key to make a marker. So I'm going to just lay out a couple of markers and then I'll know that's what I need to cut the video to. So let's go ahead and have the beat go again. Awesome. That's enough because again, I only got a few of them. As you saw, I hit, <laughs> I hit the marker a few extra times, which is fine. I'd rather have more than less. I mean, I could always go in here and take them out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this, put it right over the truck right there. Get a little zoomed in a little bit. Awesome. So. So we got the. So the first one hits wrong. And right there is where the second one is at, right? So what we want to do is hit B for blade, and we're just going to head and cut there. Oh, cut it too soon. Oh, that's right where the frame is at, that's why. No problem, we can work with that. And now we're going to hit the A again so we can get that, the other tool. And we're just going to cut out a couple of frames so we can actually see the movement in the video. So let's see what we got. Actually didn't show much so let's cut out some more i'm using that that close zoomed in so you can get more frames out see that showed a little bit of bounce right there so let's go ahead and hit the b for bleed a take out a couple more frames just you know just prop it up against the next one that didn't show much movement when that came in so let's take out a couple more slide it over Probably get it more when it's getting back in focus on the video. Yeah, see what that looks like. Ah, uh, slightly, I still wanted to be a little bit more. There we go. See like the focus right got in focus right there. So let's see what it... Yep. Does it hit right there? Hit the B. Hit A. Let's take out some more. So we got going on here. See what it looks like. And all you just want it to look different. When you do the cuts, you just want to make it look different. And all I'm doing is dragging some of it out to where it looks different, and then I'm moving it over. So we kind of just deleted all the frames inside of there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this other one and you can really see it. You'll definitely be able to see it then. A. Move it over. So we got, got right there. <laughs> there you go. I'm just going to do this last one so we can so you can see it. I mean, I think I think you got the gist of it. We'll just go ahead and just do this so we'll see what it looks like. Awesome. So there you go. 
Henry Moore III, and this is how to mogul. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments so you can send me a message. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. <laughs> All right, peace.